Hi Church, my name is Melanie Bograd here with another word of encouragement for today, February 4th, 2021. Today's verse comes out of John chapter 20, verses 15 through 16. This is an interaction between Jesus and his friend Mary Magdalene right after he resurrected and defeated death. And it reads, Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. This is such an incredible verse because it shows us that the first person that Jesus talked to after resurrecting was a woman. And in those days, women had no rights, no significant value, they were only considered property, and especially Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene was a prostitute and a social outcast. So this really, really relates to what Doug was talking about on Sunday, where we're going through a series on power and talking about gender roles. And this is really interesting that Jesus goes blatantly against the culture and says, no, I am gonna tell a woman to be the first person that will introduce the Easter story to the world, the first person that will tell the greatest news the world has ever heard. This really shows us that no matter if you are a man or a woman, what race you are, how much money you have in your bank account, or even how old you are, that Jesus calls you by name, just as he called Mary in verse 16, and he tells you to further his kingdom. As Christians, scripture tells us that our job is to further the kingdom of God, and that is what Jesus told Mary to do. He told her to go out and tell people that he is risen. The most important news, he chose a social outcast that was a woman. It's really important to think about the way that Jesus looked at Mary and the way that you should see those around you. See them as God sees them, as beautiful creations that he calls by name and tells them to further his kingdom. There are some people in your life that you're gonna run into that are hard to work with, but if you look at them the way that God sees them, it makes it easier. And I started doing this in my college classes online. Um, they're pretty difficult and it's hard and I lose motivation a lot. But when I look at the other people in my class and at my professors and think of them the way that God thinks of us and them and the way that Jesus thought of Mary, it makes it so much more of a better experience. Um, so I encourage you to do this as you go out into your day and join us tomorrow for another daily word of encouragement.